What happens when the population of one city grows to being larger than that of all the countries of Northern Europe put together? A 500 megawatts power deficit and an average of 5 to 10 hours of power outages every day? 10,000 tons of improperly disposed of garbage daily? And shanty towns and slum dwellings including some situated directly on landfill sites? Empower's mission has two components. Our tangible goal is to couple a methane-based power plant that derives its power source from municipal waste with the sustainable development of a school and community infrastructure for people that live in landfills. Our broader, more intangible vision is to take advantage of a form of poverty and convert it into a mechanism that can be used by a community to improve their living conditions and allow them to make a positive contribution to society. We have chosen the city of Karachi, Pakistan as an ideal location for this project because it is a port city with a large population of 18 million people that face a 500 megawatt power deficit, resulting in frequent power outages. Each day, the city of Karachi generates over 10,000 tons of trash that is burned off in any of four municipal landfills, the largest of which is the Katrakundi landfill and is home to over 10,000 people. Empower aims to take all these challenges and, through a viable enterprise, convert them into an opportunity for Karachiites to help themselves. Katrakundi is the largest of the four municipal landfill sites serving Karachi. It receives 3,000 tons of garbage each day, and with 10,000 people living on or near the site, it is a source of livelihood for the many who sort and burn through the garbage, looking for food or recyclables to sell in the second-hand market. Because of the improperly disposed of garbage, they are subject to severe health risks, including burned hands from reaching into the garbage, respiratory infections from smoke inhalation, cancer of the nose, loss of the sense of smell, pulmonary problems, and pregnancy health issues to name a few. We've also established a close working relationship with Al Khair, an NGO founded in 1987 by Muhammad Muzahir, which currently serves over 2,000 students at the landfill site and provides free meals, books, and education to the students. They're supported in part by Japanese NGOs and are well respected by the local populace. They've already sent 15 students to universities across the world. Revenue will be channeled to bolster their school and college facilities and curriculum, and their expertise will be used for the creation of a community centre, the introduction of basic healthcare facilities, and subsidised housing for the slum residents. The power plant will be developed from multiple stages. In the seed stage, we'll continue to develop the logistical and organisational framework for a project, build a professional support, and develop engineering and architectural documents. Stage 1 will demonstrate a proof of concept by setting up a macrobiotic digestion chamber and a 250 kW methane power plant. In stage 2, we'll expand to a 10 MW power plant that will project and further expand it to 115 MW for 5 to 10 years. So, what are you waiting for? Help us empower communities around the world. Vote now at the Tell You Austin Competition website or find us at www.empowerenergygroup.org.